Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Urban Design Lodge. We are here with, uh, in our quadrant, I have me, Brian, and Joe Love, and uh, Prox Cologne, who is not here right now. Uh, we're doing the space station great work right now. We're just working on that right now. Last episode, we started it. Uh, we'll head on over to Strixside, who you got with you. Hi, uh, I'm here with Aruga and uh, someone else that I haven't met yet, but uh, apparently they did this uh, tourist-centric <laughs> city. Um, so Aruga and I started building the airport in the last episode. And uh, I think we need some. We need to coordinate our materials, but we'll we'll probably do that uh, in the episode later on. Um, Sat, what are you up to? I'm building the um, solar farm, but it seems to have glitched and wasn't show up for uh, Brian over in Pinewood. So I think I'm doing this on my own. <laughs> it or, appears that way. Unfortunate. And over oh. in uh, the last quarter, you too. Oh. <laughs> uh, me and Conrad are doing the arcology over here in this corner. Um, he's doing the TVs and I'm doing the alloys right now. And I've just started doing the metal as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can switch over to metals uh, when I'm done with alloy. Uh, Conrad, are you in Featherview right now? Yes, I am right now. Awesome. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to look over there now. I'm heading over. Awesome. So we have all the great works accounted for, but no one's going to be able to see all of them. Right, of course. That'd be, that's kind of unfortunate, actually. So you can only see the one in your quadrant, like even when they're built. What that's about correct. yeah, when they're built? Oh, really? That's um, Dang. not good. Wow. Whoa, uh, Conrad, is that a, is that like a little zigzag building? Is that a, what is that? Uh, is that a cultural that's building? A... It's, yeah, it's a, um, it's a cultural building. Yeah, it That's is so cool. Building. I have never seen that before. Yeah, it's a really nice Wait, building because it holds What's tons exact? of people too. Yes, I, I inserted that building because it, it helped me with uh, my available jobs problem that I had. I had a lot of un available jobs and nowhere to put these residents. So I just plopped that in and I've gone all the way down where I've got like, oh, you're very talking little... About that. Oh, okay. It holds 1,100 people and is also a tourist attraction. Yeah. I like your train network, too. You have it going kind of like around your city. Wait, yeah. how do you tell how much people hold? Uh, it's, it's in the description. Safe. Yeah. Oh, it yeah, I'm very proud with the uh, train network. It was actually um, one of the hard things to put in because I was actually putting it into my initial base or initial setup of the city where I was just making money. And slowly but surely deleting it. Yeah, I think uh, not till really play with the trains, but they're actually a lot of fun whenever you start throwing them into your city and kind of make them interweave and everything. That's fun. Um, guys, I have. Yes. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I have a question. I see uh, an avatar that it it's not part of the region and it's just roaming around my city with uh, with a train. <laughs> What's going on with that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. It, it looks like uh, I don't know. You, you'll probably see in my video later on, but but it's uh, well now it's gone. But it was it was like a uh, an, uh, like a cartoon of a face, and it's none of yours avatars. Maybe it was an older. Are you sure it's avatar not... of yours? It's not the guy with the dreads. Uh, I think so. Maybe. Yeah, the guy next to you. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it looked kind of like that. Sorry, go on. <laughs> I was just worried. <laughs> yeah, I guess the Vegas guy. That'd be weird. Spies or hackers? Spies, hackers, ninjas. Ninjas. Yeah, where the uh, Squiggly building is anyway, I really like into that main street or avenue which runs through the city right there. I always like to uh, zoom straight down into a uh, straight level. It actually looks, looks really, really good down there. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm working on some more ore for our to get alloy for our build, although I don't really know if that's our major issue right now. If anything, we need the, the fuel still, but whatever. I built my Department of Education right next to Big Ben's, and I have two giant clocks on the same block. <laughs> <laughs> what? You need it just in case if one goes down, you've always got the other. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> check them against each other. Will we have a power or water issue with Arcology? 
mean, we, I mean, we both have nuclear power plants, so it's we will not have any issues with that because I got a lot of water supply thanks to my treatment, and it's not no, my powers. I mean, my nuclear power plant isn't using all of it, so yeah. We should not have any issues. Just have a look into the region with you and the water. I'm on the river and you have more water than me because I have no space. <laughs> yeah, I've got 546.9 k gal or gel and our water pumped. So, and I think we only need like 300 water pumped and I've got like 600 nearly. And you've got still, oh Jesus, you've got 666. You're pumping more water than I am. I am? I'm using, I'm using less. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm using about half of what you are. And plus on top of that, look how much water pumped um, Tomahan is pumping. He's pumping the same amount as you. Yeah. And he's uh, using nothing of it. I was supposed to buy it from him, but at the time when he set it up, I wasn't getting any for some reason. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not even using it. I'm not even using half of my um, electricity. Uh, neither are you. So now nah, we're, we're sweet, we're absolutely sweet. We have nothing to worry about. Speaking of our great works, okay, metal has started going, and TVs are about the six of the way there, and alloys about a tenth of the way there. Sweet. Is this for our ecology, or is this for... Yes, for okay. our ecology, yep. Right. Kind of similar to what we need. Minus the fuel. There's a huge traffic jam outside my city. Well, Zat, I have ecology. good news. What? I can see the solar farm constructing. Nice. What? Nice. That took a little while. Yes, it did. And I'm working on being able to unlock fuel storage, um, and then I'll be going back to my city. Cool. Okay, I'm doing that now as well, actually. So, one of us. How are you? It. Yeah, I'm working on. Well, I'm trying to get the the trade division or whatever, and the HQ down so we can get that. But I'm also going for the the ore storage. I need that. But I guess I think it unlocks both of them, right? I'm not sure. Uh, I think you have two different divisions in your trade. Uh, one is for oil, and one's for or one's for fuel, and one's for for ores and coals. Right, okay, so I'll probably go for the ore and coal one then if you're going already for the oil one. Yes, I'll get the oil one down. Awesome. Aruga. This teamwork here. Aruga, quick question. Yes, I'm here. Uh, do you have oil? No, metal. Only metal. Hmm, we might have a problem because I don't have oil either. And in the city that is abandoned, doesn't have any oil. So... I think maybe Little Vegas has oil. Oh, my, we, we, we might have to import it, I guess. Which means you need to specialize in something so that you can support your importation of oil. Yeah, but the problem is I have coal and ore, and uh, if I sell those, I won't have enough for alloy. So it's, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Well, there's one thing I can suggest for you is to go into electronics and sell electronics, especially processors, and then whatever profits you make of that. I'm sure oil does not cost as much as what processors do. Yeah, that's an option, but it will it will mm. take a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Um, I guess we'll figure it out. I need to build a trade board first. That's first thing. The tra traffic jam into Great Works is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> is uh, that happening by a, the arcology? Yeah. It's just yeah. a it's just an intersection. Like why can't they have a T shape uh interchange like into the arcology? Yeah. I guess they just got lazy. Just put an intersection instead. It'd be nice if they did some sort of expansion later in the game that allowed you to do like the one-way roads, the crazy intersections and interchanges and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. 
maybe highways. Well, I mean, I guess the cities are kind of small for highways and interchanges, but it'd still be cool. But one-way streets are definitely very, very Oh, needed. yes. That would be nice. Yeah. Speaking of one-way streets, Flux, I've um, realized you've gone for, for a very similar design in terms of um, having the road come from either side and going through your city, and you've gone for the uh, whole uh, half a square design. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit, I guess, in the, in the upper part too, especially. Um, yeah. I do that design quite often. Just one thing to mention is that if there are people that are driving through your city that actually don't want to stop through but actually go from one side to the other just watch out that you don't by accident create any routes that are actually shorter than what the actual avenue is because then they'll right. be just go driving straight through the city and using little streets and clogging up your city instead of the actual avenue itself right i tried i think i might have had one or two issues with that although not necessarily i with the uh, update 7 thing it really helps that you can just make you can kind overpasses. of make, yeah. yeah, you can make overpasses yeah. go over it and just leave the main road for passer buyers or whatever. So I think it should be okay, but thank you. I can see that'd be a major problem later on. I think it was a bad idea to put the university right next to my city entrance. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have space on the island? Well, I'm going to visit your cities up. Sure. School of Science. I'll create a lot of traffic issues. Yeah, let me see if I can move it somewhere else. I didn't know you could fit the university in that island. Or not island, but On the riverbank. Yeah, just not, well, it's not even upgraded at all. I just popped it down. I don't even really need it since I don't even have that much industry. I think I'll just remove it for now. Start with the college. Yeah, which is also not too far from the city entrance. Oh, God. I'll build another one on the other side of the city. Oh, I see you've um, moved your uh, first initial bridge as well so that you can feed your uh, tram service network through it. Yeah, that was unfortunate that it was like just like a couple of feet that I couldn't build a tram line on. Or if you uh, uh, revise it, you can have the bridge go over the main road and then connect it on the right side because right turns are easier for traffic yeah than left turns. I could do some sort of yeah. crazy overpass since I moved the um since I'm moving the university anyways let's mm -hmm. get the another college down first though and the bus terminal might be causing a lot of traffic too yeah probably a little well, bit well it's 1 35 a.m and I'm in your city Zach and your entrance is clogged up all the way out to the highway <laughs> now yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. All the way. Oh, I see the solar farm from your city. <laughs> that's cool. As do I. Yes, that's mad. Oh, that's interesting. So if I go visit, who's building the uh, spaceport? Uh, if that's our set. Yeah. And I go visit the city flux. See if All I right. can see a glimpse of a spaceport being built. Are you still in Pinewoods, Brian? Yes. Oh. I'll be here for probably another three or four more minutes. Did you change the name? No, it automatically changed back to Pinewood. Oh, that's weird. It is. I think you need to fix it. <laughs> Strict <laughs> coast, right? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it won't matter because when I abandon it, it'll oh, go yeah. right back to it. I see the spaceport from Fluxus City. Oh, can oh. you? Yeah. Interesting. That's cool. That's good. Yeah. It's really good, actually. So maybe so we can all... it'll work. Almost. Well, then hopefully once they're all completed, they actually do show up in the region. Fingers crossed. That would be nice. Yeah. I like to see some arcology action. That looks really cool. I'm going to visit Strict City. Oh, it's a mess. Don't come here. That's why I was quiet. I was just like putting all those fires at the same time. <laughs> Like <laughs> me metaphorically speaking, now I'm having that... I'm having a lot of trouble with the whole resource thing because I, in order to get alloy, I need to upgrade the metals HQ or whatever, and I need to produce, uh, like sell and and mine ore for a, for a while. Yeah. Some and also have a big gridlock problem. So I just so I think I just solved that with buses and high density avenues. So I guess we'll see what happens. 
but is that oh, wow. your um tram network which goes through the roundabout that's really cool oh yeah that would just kind of happened pop a few trays around that that'll look sick where are you going to put your uh, smelting at uh street um i don't know what version of my city you're seeing but there was a neighborhood that no long it's no longer there so now i have plenty of room oh, okay. it's right in front of the coal mine <laughs> Uh, okay. I, I think uh, south of the coal mine, and uh, yeah, that right there. Now there's an ore mine and a second one, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this melting factory there. Okay. Next to the church, right? Yeah, right next to the church. <laughs> For a moment, I was hoping you could put the roadside trees along uh, tram routes. Oh, that'd be cool. You can't. No. Oh. Only on top of road. You mean the whole um, decor thing that they've added? Yeah. Roadside trees. Oh. I've got trees on um, my uh, streets in the city where the actual tram runs on, on the avenues themselves. Oh, yeah, but I meant the tram lines on their own. Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. My trees are glitching out when I'm placing them. It's putting like brown spots instead. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's a common glitch. What Your do plot I do? Just... is glitched with that. Oh, the whole plot is. So I just uh, no, just, just keep... like I think like a quarter of it. Is... It usually fixes once you re-enter the game later. Okay, good. I was gonna say I was hoping it wouldn't be permanent. No, you now live in the swamps. Dang, <laughs> it's like right in my little suburb area where I wanted it to be all dense with forest, and of course now it's gonna be. Whatever I hate it how is. they're- what's- This is weird. <laughs> I see a bunch of legs of highways just suspended in midair. That's also a common like, glitch, yeah. I've seen that so yeah. many times. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. So, Strick, you go just for alloy, right? Uh, I'm- I'm doing- yeah, alloy, yeah. I think so. Okay. Then uh, I have noticed I can put a, a mine for metal in my city. There's uh, a bit empty space for for ore here, so I can uh, yeah I can produce or you know what I mean <laughs> the metal for <laughs> for the uh, airport. Oh, you're gonna put a smelting factory or just mine uh, ore? No, smelting factory could be also possible if I. Well, so can... so we need we need three things, uh, which is what I'm dealing with right now. I have uh, an ore mine, a coal mine, and now after exporting this for a while and moving my metals for a while, we need a smelting factory to combine both. Is that is that right, guys? Am I missing something, or is it? No, that's that is right. Okay, perfect. So in addition to that, we also need oil that none of us has, so we will have to import that. So maybe if you can sell ore or coal or, or both in your city and make enough money, maybe you can start importing oil and we can send the oil to the uh, airport. What do you think of that? Because I'm already trying to get the smelting factory on my own. It's going to take you a while. Yeah, okay. Then I will uh, import oil, I think. Okay, make sure that you have enough money. Yeah, make sure that you have enough money first. And also that you have, uh, maybe you should export ore and coal just to, you know, balance that expense. Yeah. Call your account. I will try it. Awesome. The petroleum division's down, so you should be able to add storage for plastics and uh, fuel. Awesome. I can import if we need to. So send it in. Um, also, I just have the metals HQ down. You need that. Yeah, I've got my electronics HQ fully upgraded and all buildings are active, so you should also be able to add a plastic storage lot to your trade port. Nice. Forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, you guys saw that forum or thread on the official forums where this guy posted a weird bug. <laughs> made the developers laugh i haven't seen it what is it like he had a town full of like medium density buildings but it had zero population 
and huh. he was wondering like why was why was this city empty and then he scrolled out into the sky and he noticed all the moving vans were in the sky <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious oh my oh no what is this I got a lizard stuff? in my city right in the middle of the city oh man <laughs> oh. where the university is um it's close it's not it's not right there it's more like on the main road oh it's, a lizard well, i thought you said wizard what <laughs> where's <wizard>. your <laughs> where's your uh dumps dump i don't know where it is i don't oh it's all the way over here yeah Where's... so i'll be making he's gotta go all, he's gotta go right through my in my uh university yeah oh, can man. you can you destroy that i don't I really think so him. It's like fully upgraded or almost fully upgraded, so I really hope he doesn't. I had a tornado go over my city hall and university and nothing happened. A sharknado? Huh. Yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't affect big buildings, tornadoes. Look at this. He's like, he's he can't walk because there's so many different roads and like and overpasses. So he's like digging and going in and out of the ground over and over again. He's not just going straight. I'm in That's your weird. city, but I don't see it. That sucks. Yeah, I don't, I, it'd be cool if you could see it, but... What is... We will watch the footage. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, what? He just destroyed my university. Oh, no. Oh, you've got to be <laughs> kidding me. Oh, that was so much Oh, fun. now I see it. <laughs> oh. He just popped up in my view of your city. All these people are just fleeing as he destroys the entire university. Oh, my. That was <laughs> so much money went into that university. Easy Don't come, worry. easy go. Yeah, I guess so. Don't worry, you got Brian there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna destroy my my ore my ore. Uh... Dude, this. Oh, what? No. He's gonna destroy my here. ore mines too. You got it. Well, it's a lot cheaper to bulldoze your uh, garbage dump. Just to bulldoze it now. If he's still there. Oh, oh really? It adding. stops when you bulldoze a garbage dump? Yeah, he, that's what he's going for, and he just kind of disappears. I, I've always you know, destroyed the one and built a new one, but somebody just told me yesterday you could just destroy the old one and you don't have to build a new one. Hmm. And oh. it just burrows back into the ground? Yeah. Looking all confused. Does it or take like a few seconds for it to recognize? The... Well, he doesn't continue to walk anymore. I mean, it takes probably two or three seconds but he doesn't continue to walk well cool. you've outsmarted the lizard <laughs> that was such a bummer wow i just had an instant replay on from my view of your city <laughs> university gone yeah that he, he like could not have picked a worse place to go he like destroyed all of my main like module buildings that's great i just destroyed your university <laughs> Yeah, I just yeah, did that. Just... I could really use one of my roads right now. I'm gonna look into your city. Is that? I've made a crazy intersection overpass thing at my entrance. I don't know if you can see it. It seems to be helping a tiny bit. But now there's just people taking left turns when they're exiting the city instead of when they're coming in. Oh, they're doing U-turn? No, something? they they just... Like, I, moved, like uh, I forget who suggested, but I moved the... Um, intersection to the right side so people coming into the city only need to take a right turn but people exiting the city and you still need to take lefts yeah so i, I saw in the comments why do you have three t's in your city <laughs> name. because it, my name is that that has two t's and then the the contraction of ton for town has one t that's three t's <laughs> how long do you that's think okay. of that explanation <laughs> the Actually, he drank. It. He was drinking too much, and it looked like two T's. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought it was an H. <laughs> All right. Okay, wow. smelting factory. Let's do this. Yeah. Well, I'm in their city right now. It, it looks much better than last time. The city or the intersection? The intersection or traffic wise, but I'm gonna wait for rush hour at six. Yeah, it see. seems to have cleared up a bit. I'll have to look at it a little bit later. I mean, it, it's going really um, flowy right now. Flowy. 
<laughs> That's starting to back up again, but yeah, I think it's a bit better than before. There's also an alternative. Oh, yeah, people are taking the alternative route. There's another right they can take to get to the farther end instead of going yeah. straight and waiting for the people to take left. Interesting. That's a good idea. Because the new AI, or if like one is backed up, they'll take a detour. Yeah. I just hope mm. that means there aren't a bunch of people on the left lane trying to change lanes to the right because they decided to change their mind and take the escape route. Mm hmm. Hmm. My population just like dropped significantly. Not the sure lizard. why. Maybe the lizard, yeah. That's too bad. I bought the uh, Red Cross DLC. So oh. that. Oh, how's that? What is it? Does it just give you like more hospitals or expansions uh, or something? Or? I think how it works is like when a disaster happens, uh, the people that lose their homes, they get sheltered. So you don't oh. really lose as much people during a disaster, I guess, like hmm. population wise. Interesting. And uh, it also uh, buffers your um, medical and police units during that time like oh. gives them a buff i guess oh that's good yeah mm, damn it you know what i need to do now though because i need to overpass on the other side of the bridge too because i have a pretty heavy avenue there the the next to the big ben yeah and then have that loop back around so people can go straight i'm at midnight right now so i have to see at 6 a.m I'm at 10 o'clock and it's still packed. <laughs> it, it looks fine on my screen right now. Well, your screen's wrong! <laughs> <laughs> Live stream. I'm gonna blow up mm. some big buildings to do this. For sure. Oh, okay. I hope I can rebuild this bridge where it was. So you destroyed it just now? Yeah. Okay. Try some experiments. Uh, so I have a medium density high tech industry called Zombra Troll Medical Co. And the sign in front of it, of the actual building itself, has the sign with the name of Glowing Rectangles. What do you think that's all about? Hmm. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> glowing rectangles glowing rectangles it's got a Weird. nice blue blue outline and it's got a yellow fluoro color on the inside is it like mimicking the umbrella corp logo or something no it look tell, tell you the truth it looks a bit like an iphone just without a circle button it's got a rectangular button so a bit like the samsung oh. galaxy oh. button glowing <laughs> rectangles <laughs> Zom Zom Zombre Troll Medical. That sounds like a drug. Smartphone factory. Zombre Troll. Yeah, it does sound like <laughs> a prescription drug. Zombre <laughs> Troll. Bing. Side effects might include a desire for brains. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oops. I don't have any clinics. I wouldn't want that. I have never done highway engineering like this before. It's fun. Kind of is. Okay, guys, I think we're right about there in terms of time. Oh, you're right. We are. Oh, we're about 30 minutes in, actually. <gasps> I want to keep going. Oh. Trust me. I me know. Too. So exciting. As well. Oh, next episode. Yeah, we'll get back to this. Okay. Stay tuned. Uh, well, that was our episode of the Urban Design Lodge. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, anyone want to say goodbye? Bye. Goodbye, guys. Don't forget Bye. to subscribe. Bye. Just sing the Maybe goodbye song. Time. Sound like sheep. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That was the worst. <laughs> All right. See you later. I'm leaving that part in. <laughs>